One of the biggest debuts at this year's Detroit Auto Show is this all new 2019 Ram 1500. Now, as you can see, everything is new on the inside. We've got a much sleeker, more futuristic look. On this limited one, we've got great touches like sleek LED headlights and tons of chrome on the front. There's a new Ram logo around back, and there isn't even the crosshair grille that we've seen for a few years. But there's a lot more to this truck than what you can see. When you talk to the engineers, you learn that there's a lot going on under the skin to really improve it. Now, like a lot of us in the new year, the Ram has gone on a big diet. In fact, it loses as much as 225 pounds. There is a little bit more aluminum than before, but most of those weight losses come from using much more high strength steel than before. In fact, engineers worked to cut out weight in any place they could, switching to an electric parking brake cut 20 pounds and making this tailgate from aluminum saved another 15 pounds. And what's really nice is the action of this tailgate is nice and damped when you open it too. The frame alone is about 100 pounds lighter this year. It's 98% high strength steel. And as you can see on this cutaway and from this color coded chart, different types of steel were used where they were needed for balancing the amount of strength needed with how much weight could be saved. When you move up front, also there's this interesting splayed frame rail design. This is specifically designed to address the challenging small overlap crash test that has really troubled a lot of truck designs until now. The Ram 1500 is going to launch with two engines. This 3.6 litre V6 will have 305 horsepower. The 5.7 litre V8 is going to have 395 horsepower. Now they're both also going to have a mild hybrid system called eTorque. As you can see, there's a big belt operated starter generator here and a lithium ion battery pack. The idea is to give you a little bit more low end torque and to improve those stop start operations to make them quicker and smoother. Both of those engines are going to be connected to a new version of the 8-speed automatic transmission that we've liked in the current Ram 1500. This one's been updated with new programming and various other tweaks to make it even more fuel efficient. Now, to further help fuel economy, Ram designers worked really hard on this truck's aerodynamics. There's 9% less drag than before thanks to the new shape and a Venturi effect on the roof. You also get active aerodynamics. We've got active grille shutters here and a spoiler that descends from here to further cut drag at highway speeds. If you're a passenger in the back of a 1500 crew cab, well, you're gonna be crazy comfortable back here. The doors are about an inch longer each, the pillar is bigger, so there's way more legroom for the back seat. And in fact, it even reclines slightly, which is a really awesome feature to have in a pickup truck. In the back, there's this ram bin under the floor, which lets me store things under here with these little tie down loops as well. And you can also store things under the back seats. There's enough space under here that you could fit a four foot level, which would be really useful if you were using this truck on a job site. When you move to the front of the cabin, there's just as much storage. This center console compartment is way bigger than before. It can fit a 15 inch laptop. You can adjust where these cup holders are, store things here. It's really noticeable that Ram has made efforts to make all these controls easy to use if you are wearing gloves. They're very thick and chunky, whether it's for this electronic shifter, the manual volume knobs, or even these toggle switches down here for everything from the air suspension to the turning off the parking sensors. In terms of connectivity, you can get a Wi-Fi hotspot, you can get tons of USB ports, including the new high power type C standard and wireless phone charging. There are multiple sizes of touchscreen infotainment systems available in the Ram 1500, but my favorite is this vertical 12 inch one. You can essentially get two sets of controls on here. It's really fast with crisp graphics. You can reconfigure what's on each display. You can even do pinch to zoom when you get to the navigation system. And of course, like you'd expect from any modern infotainment system, there's support for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. To me, this is an amazing feature and it certainly blows away the display screens we've seen in other pickup trucks. Finally, some important numbers that really matter to truck buyers. Payload and tow ratings both increase. The max payload for the Ram 1500 is now 2,300 pounds, and the max towing capacity climbs to 12,700 pounds. We're expecting to get more details on fuel economy and pricing in the next couple of weeks and months. Active safety technology is of course important on more and more new cars. Now Ram recognizes that truck owners might want to put cow catcher bars or plows on the front. So all of the radar and camera sensors are up here. You get features like adaptive cruise control, pre-collision braking and lane keep assist, as well as blind spot monitoring that even works when you've got a trailer hooked up. For those of you who like to go off road, the Rebel is also returning. I'm very happy about that because I've always thought this is one of the coolest looking versions of the Ram 1500. Blacked out trim, big wheels with knobbly Goodyear Wrangler tires, functional recovery hooks and so on. And of course there's a lot going on underneath and electronic locking diff, skid plates, Bilstein shocks, 
And this year, you can get this with both air suspension and coil suspension, and you can now get a quad cab as well as a crew cab configuration. The bottom line is that the 2019 Ram 1500 is improved in almost every way. It's lighter, stronger, more spacious, better equipped, more efficient. Now, I'm really excited to get behind the wheel and bring you guys a full first drive. But for now, for more on the 2019 Ram 1500 and every other debut at this year's Detroit Auto Show, be sure to visit us at motor1.com.